42,000 that day, but they'll make just as much noise, even though there's half the number of spectators in here tonight, believe me. Ball with the first clearance for Arsenal. Emmanuel Petit, challenged by Rankin. Gregan with a good ball through, but he finds Kurt Nogan in an offside position. That'll be interesting, I think. Nogan and Mackin up front. We'll have to be careful with their runs. David Moyes would surely have told them about Arsenal's back four, who hold a line as well as anyone in the country. But the first thing that struck me about the teams as they're on the pitch, Alan, is how much bigger Arsenal are, I think, physically. Gregan finds Nogan, took it down beautifully. And a dangerous ball. Nelson Vivas had to get there because coming in behind him was Cartwright. And still not gone out of play. Well, that was half a chance. Vivas had to deal with an awkward ball. The fact that it bounced just in front of it. And danger again for Arsenal as Gregan forces. The goalkeeper Meninga to drop on the ball on his near post. Yeah, that's confidence building this. It's a little unlucky, you know, Regan. They worked the ball really well, but if they could only have pulled this back two or three yards, then Kurt Nogan was looking to pounce on anything. Just a little bit too near Alex Manninger. Regan. Arsenal in command again with Vivas. And now Martin Keogh. Morty, good little ball for Parler, who takes on Murdoch and beats him, but not Lucas. Good hands, goalkeeper. Cross field threat he's had to deal with, 15 minutes gone, and he dealt with it very confidently. Lovely little link up. Parler just pushes it once, and he knows he's past the defender. The angle's always going to be difficult from there. At the target, tested the goalkeeper, wasn't found wanting. Both Murdoch and Jackson, the centre-halves, forward for the kick. Whipped away by Petit. Parkinson plays it back in. Nogan in a threatening position. And still danger for Arsenal. Petit again to the rescue. This is Murdoch. Couldn't find a way through the crowd. Good work by Jackson. Surely a foul on Rankin. The referees let it go on with Mackin in possession. And now Nogan. There's no real wipe. They didn't have anyone they could just stretch it wide to. Kurt Nogan again. And that's a better looking ball. Kids cross. Met on the near post by Mackin. And it's come out to Nogan. And Nogan has given Preston the lead. They finally made the pressure tell. It was great pressure for about the last minute of the match. They knocked the door, they knocked the door, but finally they got some width, Alan. It's a great run from Kidd to get in there. And how well does Mackin do to dig it out of there from, well, six yards? Kurt Nogan isn't going to miss this. A big moment for him. And it's a simple side foot, keeps his nerve. But Bold actually defends the first bit brilliantly. But somehow they dig it out. And the Welshman from Cardiff, who's been around in the lower divisions, this is his fifth different league club, has set up the possibility, albeit remote at this early stage, of the FA Cup's first major upset. The holders, Arsenal, a goal behind. But on the offensive with Mark Overmark. Well placed in the middle. It's gone beyond him to Mendes. Sets it up for Parler who hits it well and it's deflected wide for a corner. Oh, I thought that was in the far corner. He's hit the shot well. I think it was powerful enough to really trouble David Lucas. Oh. Well, when your luck's in, it goes wide. If you're unlucky, it goes in the top corner. But Arsenal for me hadn't really started, Alan. They've been, well, the half pace almost since the start of the match. And it's almost as if that ball's given them a kick up the backside. From a ball there, Petit with the interception, and danger again for Arsenal. Preston have a corner. Well, Mackin. Mackin, yeah, what a, not a great chance, but what a block, and an important one from Martin Keown. The scramble's about, but again, it's their determination. Just look at Reagan Gwyn there. That 
kind of determination is one of the ball. Might not have been going in, might have been screwed wide, but an important block from Keown nonetheless. Well, they won't want to lose a second, Arsenal, I can assure you. They'll have to weather the little storm they're under now. And Murdoch trying to get in in front of the goalkeeper there. He was just bouncing around as the corner came in, trying to put off Manninger. Well, that's the pressure I was talking about from the corner. Um, Ayers is going to cross to take it left-footed. And when you put it in with a bit of pace, using the wind, it's a horrible ball for the goalkeeper to deal with. Especially when Murdoch stood right in front of him. Same sort of ball in, and the goalkeeper's lost it, they scored again! Unbelievable stuff here at Deepdale! Logan on target again, and second division Preston lead the FA Cup holders Arsenal by two goals to nil! Well, they've done their homework, brilliant! The ball in is another horrible one, and watch Alex Manninger right underneath that, he's under pressure! Jackson, who gets right in the goalkeeper's face, but Logan at the back post, well, again, as long as he keeps his eye on it, Alan, and he didn't really do that, it's a bit head and shoulder, but it's his night, cut Logan, two goals in, what, 20-odd minutes, this is, well, this is almost bordering fantasy at the moment, wonderful stuff. Well, the atmosphere around this ground, I do hope it's coming across as well at home as it is here in the stadium. Well, I pose the question right at the top, Alan, that... Hold on a sec. As Parler goes forward and hits it well. Good save by Lucas. Well, I said he's got to play well as well, the goalkeeper, if you want a shot. And at the moment, he's doing everything that's required. It's across him, it's wide of him. He's got to go through length. It's a good, firm hand, though, that pushes it wide out the danger area. Here's Boa Morphy for Arsenal. Takes on Murdoch. Well, goes that's, down. That's got to be close, I tell you. The referee has pointed for a goal kick. Goodness me, I tell you what, that has got to be close. I thought from where I'm sitting, that's a penalty. I didn't think Murdoch get anything on the ball here. Goes to the ground, he might have just got it, but that's... Oh, from where the referee's looking, look at that, he's nowhere near the ball. That's a penalty to me. Arsenal have been denied. Oh, bringing him down, he seemed to be also uh, tugging away at his shirt there, so a real let-off for Preston. David Ayres for them. Macken. Keown doing well, Boa Morty with a little touch on over Mars. And here's Boa Morty in a good position. Murdoch brings him down, this time the referee has no hesitation, does he? But again, I thought he pointed to the spot, he's pointed for a goal kick. I was convinced he was pointing to the spot that time, but again, he's ruled out Arsenal's requests for a penalty. Well, Colin Murdoch really is living dangerously here. Boa Morty does him again, not so sure. There was contact, certainly not as much as the first one, but he goes across, just catches his left foot. There's not a great deal of contact there, that was less of a case, but never mind, the claims were justified. And Arsenal must be thinking at the moment, it's just not our night. Yeah, the twist and turn by Boa Morty, and it's found the net. Arsenal get the goal they needed to give them hope for the second half. Well, he's been the threat. Two penalty claims turned down Boa Morty, and he's really enjoyed it against Murdoch. And it's Murdoch again, who he just turns and skips past. He gets the help of a little deflection, but I think this was headed for the far corner anyway. Didn't really do an awful lot. Craigan got a little touch on it. Might have made it a little bit difficult for the goalkeeper. Just takes it past him with a spin. As I said, getting to half-time at 2-0 was the next target. They didn't reach it. gets it away, but now Luis Boamorte over Mars. Set himself up beautifully, and that's a good save from Lucas. That's a great save, Alan. That was brilliantly struck by over Mars. Low, it's going in, into the bottom corner. Just jinks away in field, looking at the goalkeeper's right. He's at full stretch, and again, good strong hand from David Lucas. Too often and recklessly. 
or try and eat up the clock with a bit of possession. I think one thing that's happened in a favour, Alan, is that the wind has dropped a bit, second half. And they're looking good again. Cartwright with the cross. Oof, that was a difficult ball from Meninga, and it hit the top of the crossbar. I thought the goalkeeper palmed it as well. I think that's a corner. I mean, he's not looking to score here, but they worked the position really well again. And when Cart Cartwright gets wide, he's just looking for the back post. And that touches the goalkeeper, there ain't a doubt about that. That's a corner. But again, almost got under it, Meninga, didn't he? Just fingertips. Arsenal do well to win it back, and a threat here as Overmars takes them forward. Great run by Overmars. Can he go all the way? He goes down. And it's a red card. And oh dear, Preston's night is suddenly turning sour. Now, Overmars was on his way. It was a brilliant run. He really tested them right at the heart of them, and when that tackle's missed, they've got a problem. Yeah, McGallagher's only decision here is is the tackle in or outside the box. It's outside the box, about a yard. That decision's right. The sending off can only be right, Alan. It's a cynical tackle. It was a desperate tackle. And now Preston really have got it all to do. A 2-1 lead, suddenly looking fragile. Their most experienced player dismissed for this challenge as Overmars was quite clearly on his way. And he would have only had the goalkeeper to beat. It would have been interesting the way the goalkeeper's played. That little confrontation, but that's a decision that you make as a footballer, Alan. He must have known, David Ayers, that he was going off. He could have known nothing was for sure than that. And just look how close it was to being a penalty as well. It's virtually on the line inside the D. There could be worse to follow for Preston here. If Arsenal can get this right. A little scrap going on in the wall meantime. Rankin suddenly spilled out of it. Presumably propelled out of it by someone. And the referee's going to need eyes in the back of his head here. The air has gone and stood in the wall. As Petit takes it, and Arsenal are level. A crucial moment in this cup tie. The cup holders have drawn level, and Preston have had a man sent off. Oh, what a free kick. He took it brilliantly. Lucas just edges to his left a little, and that's all that Petit needed. Nothing fancy, left foot, little bit of bend, aim it for the far side. He won the battle. And he's brought his side level. Now this is a real test for Preston Allen, a real test. Preston 2, Arsenal 2. 3-3. Three, three. The last time these clubs met here in an FA Cup tie all those years ago. I think David Moyes' team are showing why they're challenging at the top of Division 2. They've really given everything and shown a fair bit of quality as well. Made of all the right stuff, I would say. It's their 29th game of the season. They've lost only five of them. Strangely enough, four of those defeats have come here at their home Deepdale. Overmarsh trying to make it another home defeat. And it breaks through to Paul Morty. And a goal! Petit has given Arsenal the lead for the first time in the game. Well, they had a little bit of good fortune. The ball takes two deflections right on the edge of the 18-yard box. It finally gets to Luis Boamorte. Well, not offside, but right in the middle of goal. Well, look at Petit's tap out, but Ryan Kidd just goes to ground the left back. Can't quite see it from this angle, I don't think. We'll get a chance to look at it, but suddenly you can see Kidd flatten the floor. Well, it will found its way through a couple of players at the near post, Jackson and Murdoch, and in the end it was a simple tap-in for Emmanuel Petit. I think Arsenal's first goal was a key, Alan. We talked about getting to half-time at 2-0. We didn't quite make it, and even David Moyes, when George talked to him at half-time, indicated that that was a big moment he felt in the game. 
and it's all Arsenal now. Luis Boromorti for them, they've got two men well placed in the middle here as well. And the step over takes it to Overmars! Arsenal surely on their way through to the fourth round. Now tired legs, and now a belief, I think, that they're out of it, contributing. This is a flattering scoreline. They haven't deserved this, Preston, but it's a well-worked goal, little step over. He just lets it go, and two goals in two minutes will just kill off Preston once and for all. Lovely finish, let the ball run, little drop of the shoulder, he opened himself out, and from then on, well, you did fancy Overmars to find the net. Three goals in three successive games for the little Dutchman who was outdone in the scoring stakes only by Dennis Bergkamp last season. Here's Vieira. Overmars. Keep ball there, Alan. Looking for the tee in the box. Caballero in behind him. And against the woodwork to save Preston from further embarrassment. Oh, great ball in. Great save as well. I think the goalkeeper just gets a bit in this. The team makes it on. That might well have been his intended target, but having gotten in there, the keeper's just done enough. Push it onto the post and away. Remy Garbs lining up. And they just try and shift it. Set up for him to hit it. But the wall did its job. And Arsenal have done their job in very difficult circumstances. David Moyes' team swept into a two-goal lead in the first half with two from their Welsh striker, Kurt Nogan. It looked a problematical night at that stage for the FA Cup holders. But that goal by Luis Boamorte gave them what they needed. It gave them fingernails on the cliff edge. And they were able to haul themselves over that edge in the second half. Emmanuel Petit contributed two goals Mark Overmores contributed one and much more than that as well because it was his run that led to the sending off of David Ayres when the Preston player brought him down right on the edge of the penalty box and with ten men, Preston just couldn't cope with the FA Cup holders even though Arsenal tonight had an understrength side. But Nogan will be able to look back on the night when he got two goals against Arsenal, even though in the end Arsenal got four against his team.